Hi, I'm Elle, I'm 21 and I'm from Suffolk. I decided to film this video for Beauty Bootcamp because I'm a contour crazy, lipstick loving beauty bump. I've actually been blogging for about two years now but I've never had the courage to actually film a video so I thought this would be a good push. So to start off with, the first product I've been loving is from Origins and it's this super spot remover. It's £14 for this tiny little bottle but you only need the teeniest amount. Um, it's a gel like consistency which can you see this? And you only need, this would cover several spots. <laughs> um, so I just apply it literally just on top of the areas where I'm having trouble. And the reason that I love this is you can feel it tingle straight away. You can feel it like going to town on your blemishes. And the next morning you wake up and there's such a difference. Um, I wouldn't say it completely clears them away, but it kind of almost dries them out, but keeps them hydrated. So, you know, it just cleans the whole thing up. It makes it disappear much, much, much quicker. So I really, really recommend that. Um, next up, moving on to lips. What I've been loving is this Minty Lips Lip Scrub from Lush. And I absolutely love it. It's quite cheap. It's like £5. I know you can get much more expensive lip scrubs from places like Fresh and things like that. But um, it really does the job. It's the Minty Lips one. It tastes like mint chocolate, which is delicious. And what I do is I like to dampen my lips first a little bit before applying this. And um, I literally just scrape out a tiny amount stick it on my lips and scrub it across and it just helps to lift off any kind of dead skin cells so it, it really helps for you know any of those chapped lips dilemmas which we all get so I really love this and um, I like to pair it after I've used it with the Nukes Rev de Miel lip balm and the reason that I love this is because one it tastes like milk and honey which I absolutely love it smells delicious. It's kind of got a bit of lemon in there as well, which is really, really nice. Um, and when you put it on your lips, it, it's a matte kind of texture, so it's good to put underneath lipsticks and things like that. The only thing that I'm a little bit unsure about is the actual pot, which is really pretty to put like on your dresser or things like that. But I'm I'm not a big fan of you know putting putting your lips in. There goes the lid. Putting your lip, putting your finger in. And um, scraping it all about, it can get a bit messy and it's a bit unhygienic. So I hope that they bring it out in like a um, a stick version if they haven't already, which they might have done. I need to check that out. So next I want to talk about fragrances and I picked up a couple recently. The first one is from Jo Malone and I actually got this from my sister for my 21st. And the one that I've got is the Blackberry and Bay. And it's just so distinctive, it's it's almost indescribable, but I'm gonna try my best to describe it to you. It's um it's really rich and sophisticated. It's got blackberry in there, so it's fruity, but it's not kind of like a synthetic fruity, it's really like a natural scent. And then it's it's quite fresh because it's got the bay in there as well, which kind of cuts through the blackberry, which is a little bit sharp, and just together it it just makes this amazing scent it's so distinctive and there's nothing like it it's undupable so if you like it you're gonna have to part with the price tag and this one was like 39 pounds but it's really luxurious it looks really pretty it's really special to have on my um bedside table so it just looks really nice and I really really love it um so yeah I really like this one but then on the other side of the spectrum, what I've been really loving is the Satsuma Eau de Toilette from The Body Shop. Now this one, as you can see, is not a new purchase. I've been ploughing through this one. Um, but it's it's unlike this one because it's, it's more fun and fruity. It's not a serious scent. It's just kind of like a happy daytime scent. And um, I loved it so much that I recently picked up the mango one which I don't like quite as much. I, I like it when you spritz it on, but the dry down, I'm not I'm not quite so sure about. But there's so many fragrances to choose from. I really recommend just going in there and smelling a few. Um, and they're only £8.50, plus you can always get offers from the body shop. So this is a really good one. I like it a lot. Now onto the juicy part, which is makeup y bits. I've been really struggling over the winter months with really dull skin, and I've just wanted to get a bit of glow back into my complexion and so a product that I picked up recently is this 17 Skin Wow highlighter which I've actually reviewed on my blog along with 
quite a few of the other products I've mentioned here, so I'll try and link that below. Um, it's really good. You can you can do you can use it several ways. It's kind of like a multi-purpose product, and you can um, show it to you. Here it is. You can just put it on like your your cheekbones or on your cupid's bow or on your arch bone and just highlight you know in specific places but what I like to do is get my morning moisturiser which is the Origins ginseng one and I put, I put a bit of that in my hand, put, put a tiny pump of this in with it and just mix the two together and apply it all over my face like I would normally with my moisturiser and then over the top I'll apply my foundation and it just makes your skin look so much more radiant but um one tip I would say is use a teeny tiny amount because too much and you will look like a disco ball, which, you know, that's alright. The other thing that I've been loving to do like the targeted highlighting that I was talking about is this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, which I got recently, I actually got it, well, I got it for Christmas and I don't know how I've lived without it, it's just so beautiful. It's really finely milled. Um, not sure if you'll be able to see this. Oh yeah. And I just apply it to the tops of my cheekbone, cupid's bow, and um, brow bone, and it just looks incredible. It's just got this really subtle glow, and people have actually commented, like, you just look really healthy, like, what have you got on your cheekbones? I guess it is noticeable if people have asked me, but noticeable in a good way. Um, we all like that. So I've been loving this and you can get it from MAC, I think it's about £21, something like that, it's a bit expensive, but um, I've actually tried to find dupes for this, I've liked this for ages, and I picked up um, in Superdrug, I think it's by Accessorize, I picked up their um, kind of like baked bronzers, I got the one in Laguna, and um, to, try and, to try and get a dupe for this, and it's just not the same, the texture is just so buttery and pigmented, and it's not got, it's not got big... Um, you know sparkles or glitter in it so you don't have like a big glittery chunk along your cheekbone it's just so subtle and beautiful so I really 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 love this so yeah these are just some of the things that I've picked up lately that I really love and um, I hope you enjoyed this haul comment below to tell me if you liked it and what you'd like to see next so thanks for watching everyone bye